Why, hello there, and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe with Clark. In this one, we discuss the weirdness of the world while continuing to look for this elusive Mar boy. And the search takes us to new places with new creatures and new problems. Uh, we also find a trick bug. Credits are in the description, and have a good time. Because you're like, oh no, we're out of fruit, and then you just start eating rocks or something. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is South America with a big hole in it. Yeah. The Twilight Rift. I guess maybe you could call that part of this world the Twilight Zone. <laughs> the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Yeah, that's just they they took they took South America and they twisted it sideways and then they put North America and squashed it into it, which I think is funny. Um another signal. Yeah. This next signal has to be Olimar. It better be Olimar. <laughs> You're taking so long. <laughs> it's their only clue to his location. What if this Almar <laughs> is somebody seems? This lady has no idea what a goose even is. A goose would be like <laughs> Godzilla to us. Yeah. <laughs> a cobra chicken. That's a funny name for a goose. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, if anything happens, you have both Alf and me here to protect you. <laughs> I can get eaten in one bite by a worm, but you are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it not comfort me? <laughs> Alright, I... I want to see... I want to see... Talk to them? Yeah, I want to talk to them and see if they have anything extra to say. Curses! Yeah, we did. It was all our fault. It wasn't just your fault, Captain. It was also Brittany's fault. <laughs> what are you talking about, Alf? Of course it's the Captain's <laughs> fault. <laughs> what? Uh, um... <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> Yeah, except for the getting eaten part. <laughs> I mean, that would be like that would be like visiting the Amazon rainforest for a vacation. It sounds really nice until the fish start like chewing your bones. Well, except it's kind of like um visiting maybe I don't know, Venus for a vacation? <laughs> well, yeah, because nowhere on Earth... I mean, it's not like Venus, but I can't think of another planet right. that's nowhere on similar to Earth, but it's also not inhabitable. Super other than super Mars, but that's long ago it used to be right. more like Earth. But like in this case, nowhere on Earth do you have to wear an oxygen mask <laughs> to breathe on the surface. Yeah. I mean, unless you're climbing a Mount Everest, but like sea level. <laughs> You you don't need an oxygen mask. These guys do. <laughs> Tourists would like it here. <laughs> but yeah, like whatever death jungle you can possibly conjure up, it's like that, but everything is bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> so in other words, whatever you do, don't go to Australia on this planet. <laughs> well, it's like if, if Australia was a jungle, and all the trees were, like, way taller than your spaceship. I mean, just like, you know, Australia's known for having, like, some of the most, like, almost all of the, like, most poisonous creatures. Yes. <laughs> and on the Everything planet. in Australia wants to eat you. <laughs> just imagine coming to Australia as these guys. <laughs> you know, that big bad spider or that... Or yeah. The, or... the a kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm worried about our food. What if it gets stolen? 
当にでしょって。とトロパパソパソソソトロユバ。All right. Didn't we just establish that Hoctations don't eat fruit? Yeah, they eat vegetables. Right. And meat. So why. <laughs> why would they steal? Yeah, so Captain Olimar is going to come in with a bunch of strangers, maybe the only intelligent creatures that could help get him off this planet. And the first thing he's going to do is steal their food that he can't even eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why would he ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a <laughs> sneaky way to get what you want. Okay. Well, maybe he'll maybe maybe he'll try to do it as like um you know a, a, a ransom. <laughs> oh yeah, because they don't know that he doesn't eat it, so he holds them for ransom. <laughs> I'm gonna drink all the fruit juice if you don't give me money. If you don't get me off this planet. Right. <laughs> we'll all die if you don't get me off this planet. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, I mean, Australia has become the Garden of Hope, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just so, talking about how dangerous. Right, it but is. now, now there aren't any kangaroos. There aren't any uh, dingoes. Dingoes just look like cute little dogs until they get close to you, and then they just completely eat your ass. So, yeah, it seems like none of those creatures are around. Well, we haven't found them yet. Yet. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Who knows? There might be a giant dog creature here. Wow, this is that part foreshadowing or what? <laughs> no, there isn't a giant dog creature here. Oh. Or are you just saying that? I could be just saying that. To mess with you. Yes, autumn in autumn in temperate South America. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in this game the the leafs can also be deadly. I have a good feeling about well, this. Well, leaves could be deadly if they fall on you, because, like, imagine if, like, a 1,500-pound tarp just fell on your head. Right. That'd be like a leaf falling on this guy. A captain can only sniff out when another captain's nearby. Wow. <laughs> I wish that I could be a captain so I could sniff like that. <laughs> yeah. And I have a good feeling this signal's definitely got to be Almar. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this, said yeah. no science fiction captain ever. I have a good feeling about the previous signal we got. I'm sure it's Olimar. <laughs> I'm sure it's Olimar. Yeah, big, this is going to be great, man. That big must have been Olimar. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Oh. Yeah, none of the zones are open because I'm dumb and didn't think about it. Uh... Maybe the signal is uh, the mirror slug's brother. Or sister. Is it possible or that father. is it possible to take some of the bombs from one zone to no. another? Well, then since this <laughs> no, nope, it's not possible. Okay, then since this wall is here, that means somewhere I in this wonder what, zone what that we can... would happen though if you tried to put all your Pikmin back in the young when when some of them were holding a bomb. <laughs> I think they'd just drop. They'd the bombs. probably just drop them. Yes, or the bombs would just disappear because you could make more. But yeah, I was, hopefully they won't, like, well, ignite. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I don't- I really don't think they would, well, that would happen. You, the- the spaceship can't take damage. Yes, but you can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Along but with any other Pikmin who happen bombs, to be nearby. <laughs> if you- if you brought all the guys into the spaceship, and then they dropped the bombs and those bombs exploded, it would explode under the ship and the ship yeah. would be fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The what ship seems to be that? pretty indestructible. Oh, it's an iridescent glint bleed. What? Yeah. An iridescent glint beetle, I think. Does it want to eat us or what? No. We want to eat it. Toss Pikmin on it, it flips. It does tricks and that, spits out nectar. That's cool. And then it hides. Wait, do I have any. Hang on. Is that what it's what it's called? There it is. Flint the beetle. Flint okay. Beetle. The the glint beetle is the golden variety. It reminds me a bit of prize dispensing machines. <laughs> <laughs> instead of putting out coins, you throw a Pikmin. Instead of toys, you get pellets and nectar. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Except for missing out on neat rewards, which is basically <laughs> torture. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh hang on, wait a minute. What what else was there? <laughs> yeah, well oh, oh yeah. We, we need to read the boss monsters. Yeah, we should at least read the boss monsters. <laughs> it has weak hide. Oh, that just means we wait until it Yeah. They're hitting stuck Balls in the sand. Balls of sand at Pikmin. They're hitting stuck in the sand. They don't have the area. Oh, you just switched oh. captains. <laughs> they they don't have any good defenses against it digging a hole beneath them. What? Wait, what? What's ah? Stop! Yeah. Other kids this buried button. him in the sand. Okay. If and that they... was one of his fond memories. Oh, if they're hit and stuck in the sand, they don't have any good defenses against it digging a hole beneath them. The a hole beneath right. So you have to you have to pluck them before they die. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of going to the beach and all our kids would bury me in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb, done or and it's dumb shady hole. <laughs> this sounds like a, a really great like you know when <laughs> when the military goes in and they're trying to defeat some big scary Hollywood monster. This sounds like what the average soldier would say. I can just try to get close to it and it just hide in a dumb sandy hole. So I move away and it still hides behind those sand balls it's always tossing around. What's it got against me, huh? When am I getting paid? It was practically a paradise. I still want to go back there and swim around in the sand with my rubber duck. <laughs> you almost got eaten, dude. <laughs> it's a training exercise. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it is a beach, and beaches are cool, except when giant monsters live in them and want to eat you. Powerful suction. So it's a living vacuum. It sucks, man. <laughs> yep. Could be a huge for stealth systems on our ships, so we could lose our ship in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to you have to beep the invisible ship. Yeah. <laughs> beep beep. Otherwise it's just gone. You just walk right into it. <laughs> I'd also love to figure out how the captain managed to survive this creature for so long without food or water. But that's more a biological problem. Not He's just problem. eating the insides of the behemoth boss bat. <laughs> it looks mean, but it's not so tough in the light. <laughs> it goes trying to eat the captain. <laughs> This is the thing that swallowed me! It may play dirty, but I respect its willingness to use any trick in the book to win, including biting the opponent. I'd accept a rematch any time. <laughs> I'm a stereotypical spaceship captain who believes <laughs> stupid things because I want to be manly. <laughs> yeah, it was more comfy. I was more comfy in its stomach than I expected, but I'm still glad my team <laughs> pulled me out when they did. How'd you eat, though? I would love it if, like, yeah. you know... Hey, uh, if Alf and Brittany were asking, like, how we survived in there, and then Charlie just said, oh, I had, like, extra food or something. I just started eating the <sighs> boss bat from the inside. He just said, oh, I just, I just yeah, didn't eat. Yeah, the oxygen eat. levels here aren't actually that terrible. I had to breathe them, but it's fine. Yeah. In the stomach of a giant bat. Well, maybe the oxygen levels are lower in there because you're in, in a, a giant yeah. bat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all its legs. It just wants to give you a hug. <laughs> it's a small army of rock Pikmin to make a dent in its reinforced crystal shell. Destroying the shell completely is, is slow going since it burrows into the ground every time it comes down from the walls. Wait, what? <laughs> since it burrows into the ground. Yes. I've never seen it burrow into the ground, but well, okay. Well, maybe it's because the tutorial one... It's too bad we didn't have the tools to adapt to the pieces. Adapt the pieces of its shell into armor for the drink. Now that is a really <laughs> weird mixture of old and new. You have some super fancy intergalactic spaceship, but you cover it in animal fur. I don't think that's fur. I think animal it's like hide. A, it's basically a shell. Animal shell. Okay, but like... <laughs> so it's like, so when you're in your ship, so, so you just put your ship inside, you know, one of those big, like snail shells yeah right that, that, <laughs> and that means even when you're in space you can say i can still hear the ocean 
I think it's right outside. But right, I mean, that would be like that would be like taking the space shuttle and covering it in a Nautilus shell, yeah, armor, and then saying, "Hey, it works. It's going to re-enter the atmosphere like this." I mean, stranger things have happened. <laughs> How people would stare if I could make a space suit out of it? Though maybe I'd be the. They'd only be staring because I'd be in a translucent suit. <laughs> yeah? Well, that would be, um... Interesting. <laughs> so proud of my crew for managing to take down this darn beast without me. It's especially impressive because they did it without my combat training or steely fists. <laughs> steely fists! It's also incredibly impressive that they didn't manage to, that you they, they somehow didn't lose a single Pikmin. Right, process. that was really freaky. <laughs> I think I even went and looked back at the footage later and was just like, how did this occur? <laughs> we just, I, I just kept button mashing and like whenever they, you know, whenever any of the Pikmin were unattended for two seconds, I called them back up and then we'd run again like a chicken with his head cut it's off. It's good to know I set, I set such an example for them to live up to, such as getting eaten. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be like Captain Charlie, so I got eaten. <laughs> so I let myself get eaten. All right, enough of that. Enough of that flapping. Flipping. Yeah. Okay. Pikmin. What is that? It is um a whirly gig. No, I. <laughs> in the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go. There. Oh, well, I'm trying to throw them onto the whirly gig, and it's not going anywhere. I don't actually know what these are called. Wait. Oh, I might have to charge it. Um. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I can't grab it at all. No. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Onion! That music sting is from Pikmin 2. Might have been from Pikmin 1, but I don't remember it being Music there. sting? Yeah. Stinger. Oh, you mean like the... Yeah, okay. I would assume you of all people know what a stinger is. I just heard sting and I was thinking like the band. Okay, I'm gonna get some bombs and we're gonna blow up this wall, because that wall right. seems to be important. I guess I'll take out these orange dudes. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. I, right. I, I, I found this... um. I found this. Oh, YouTube I thought there was going to be a bomb in there. There isn't. <laughs> I found this YouTube video that um, that was you know just kind of one of those like, chill like, lo-fi like uh, remixes, yeah. videos that just has a you know kind of thing like music to study to kind of thing, um, and uh, it had a little animated GIF playing all the time or some animated picture. Yeah, and the picture was um, and since the, the the entire thing's theme was a uh, Star Wars So I had a picture of a uh, Darth Vader, you know, just writing and doing things on his desk That's funny in his room, but, but the funniest part was that um, he also had a number of pictures and stuff put up and half of them were all memes <laughs> 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 So one of them just had Sidious and just uh, just the text do it, but do is spelled D-E-W -W. <laughs> Do it and then there was another picture of Obi-Wan that, that that just had the words, Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a ton of nectar, but we have no use for it. And I can't get these whirly gigs to do anything. Because I was looking... Whirly gigs just aren't listening to you. Hey, I found a lily pad ride. I saw. Uh, you can't take that out with the... Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure... Electricity! Oh. <laughs> He's really going for it. Ooh, hello there. I found something. Hey, that's cool. I found a balloon. A balloon -a mole You can just pull on him or... No, I'm... <laughs> He's well, trying to aim at me, but I okay, keep getting underneath him. Okay, it looked like you were him. pulling him around like a balloon. Well, he's trying to back up and um. So do you just throw me. guys onto the lily pad? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bad balloon -imal. Okay, so hop on just means I move this. You move onto it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I thought I had to throw all of them individually. That would be a pain. Puffy blowhog. 
he's funky. It's so puffy. Also, he's basically harmless. Well, unless he blows your Pikmin off a cliff. <laughs> Should I take him out or leave him be? Leave him be. All he right. is cute. But <laughs> we have other things to deal with. Wait, so the... <clears throat> oh, they'll just float down the river all by themselves? They'll uh, jump on the uh, lily pads. Okay, I thought I had to, like, direct them. Oh, right. Wow, I'm stupid. I I saw the the yellow electric electricity game and it's just like, yeah, I can't reach that. I'm like, wait a minute. Yes, you yellows. can. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> wait. You just said they were harmless. <laughs> I said they were harmless unless they blow you off a cliff. Oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> or if or if they blow you into an enemy. Oh, look, bombs. How am I supposed to get up? Well, maybe we should remove the um. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Let's um. No. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, my blowy dude. You must go. There we go. Oh wow, that's a big one. Plop. <laughs> um, we need reds. We do. So then I should. Yep. Yep. I mean, the blowhog is funny. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. He's a funny Where buddy. did... Where did Charlie go? Uh, he's with me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need you to throw Charlie... ...or oh. something to get up there. I don't think I can throw Charlie up there. Can I? No, I can't. That's uh, way too high. Can I throw the red one? No. What the? What's going on? Oh gosh, you darn thing. No! <laughs> Wait. Darn you. Well, now we know. Uh, we lost a few rats. <laughs> eh. Lady just might. That's a funny name. Oh gosh. What just happened there? Ah. There we go. Got I killed it. it. Nice. Okay. But like those bombs mean that I can't get What about the bombs? What? What about the bombs? I can't reach him, which means we can't blow up this wall. We can reach him. Oh. Yeah, I think that the big purple guy was a withering blo- No, that- He was a puffy blowhog. If you see an orange version of him that's smaller, that would be a withering blowhog. Although I'm not sure they exist in this game. I know they existed in Pikmin 2. I don't recall okay. seeing them in this one. All of them are flowery, but like- Flowery. Yeah, so now now we have slightly more bricks. Or slightly more ceramic pieces. That's nice. Well, I and just all, opened but... up an electric gate uh, across the lily pad aisle. I'll have to wait for the next pad. <laughs> next iPad. Oh, never mind. We I see jump. a frog. And I'm gonna poke him in the eye. He's dead. Oh, we got, uh... You want to try taking on the other one, or what? Or, I... Well, I guess you can handle I'm that. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take these off. Hey, froggy do. So now we have more spicy. Yeah, and then I can cart off our dead frog. Uh... Ow. Ow. Hmm. Hey, bridge pieces! Nice. Let me just grab all of them at once. <laughs> Cause why not? Cause why not? 
Oh. Uh, looks like there's a fruit on the other side of this water hazard. Can you... No, you can't. You'd have to throw... Um, you'd have to throw him and then throw the Pikmin. The Pikmin will probably try to cross the water hazard. That's dumb. So I'm not gonna do that. Also, if you have 53 guys and I have three guys, where's the other, like, 40? Um... Good point. <laughs> They're all just hanging out here? I guess so. Oh! oh. <laughs> Grab them, quick! Don't let them escape. Wait. They're, ki they're continuing to go. No, run after them. They're gonna go for the lily pad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were in the middle of... Yeah. Okay. Ah, I'll get them. They were in the middle of putting up the... I forgot about them. <laughs> they were in the back, middle of putting up comrades. the bridge. Nope, no. that's the yellow one. That is not what I wanted. Well, I mean, we want more reds. Yeah, but I wanted the red... You know, when it's red, blam! Then I get two of them, right? Yes. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's what you meant. I grabbed him! Yeah, so Yay. I can't throw any of these guys on here. It just isn't doing anything. Well, that probably means we don't have the ability to use that thing yet. Anyway. No, it just means I have to try harder. <laughs> Okay. While I'm over yeah, here, straight Pikmin. I'm gonna call the. Uh, they're picking up berries. Call them when they cr cross over to you, please. Cool. Well, I'm gonna grab the rocks. Uh. Because yellow Pikmin can jump high. <laughs> Don't wave at me. Go get the rock. <laughs> he literally just stood up there and waved at me. He did it again. Get the rock there. Oh, there's another one. Wait, where did those fruit go? Oh, you have to let them actually carry the fruit first. Crap. There's another one coming with a single with a okay, single berry. Because when I called on him, wait till he uh, the there. fruit now disappeared. Call him, call him quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now, okay, but that means I lost two fruit. Yeah. Because they yeah, just that's, disappeared. That's fine. We'll get some tomorrow. Anyway, stand clear of the wall. Yeah. You're gonna blow it up. Ooh, that was funny to watch from the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now there we don't we have go. to go all the way around. Yay! Well, now that's sunset. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's <laughs> groove tonight. We're actually, we can go explore the other side. No, we can't. <laughs> well, you could. You just can't let any of them out of your sight. We can't. The bridge isn't complete. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I thought the bridge was complete. Where's the yep. other pieces? Wait. I'm thinking about oh, what I think to I, do I tomorrow. I think I remember where the other pieces were. I don't remember that. <laughs> because you don't have memories of the future, Clark. Oh, like I, I do. thought. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have memories of the future. Excuse you. <laughs> Only through time travel is that possible. Which would be a really cool... How do you know I'm not a time traveler? Why would you stay around in 2020? <laughs> okay, that, fair point. <laughs> I'd go back to like 2015 or something. Right, just, you know, if you're going to stick around in the just 21st... Just go to the mid-2000s again, things were fine. Yeah, things were okay before 2008. <laughs> Why would you spend a minute in this year? Unless yeah. you're, like, doing some type of Terminator thing where, like, we have to go back and stop that dude from eating this bat or something. Let's go back in time and kill all the presidents. <laughs> kill all the presidents uh, in a row. Yeah, Only descendants of George Washington will remain. every single one of them, yeah. And then, and then make sure George Washington is immortal, yeah. You just line up all the presidents, and then you bring them in your time machine, you line up all the presidents, and then shoot through all of them with one big bullet. Or you just, you know, if you have time travel, you could probably get into space, so you can just leave them in space. <laughs> just leave them in a tiny sphere, a pressurized sphere in space, just orbiting. Some, but some astronaut's gonna be really confused. <laughs> <laughs> just comes across effectively a time capsule, but it it, it just has a all, time capsule a with a president of... that never existed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're all just arguing with each other inside. 
<laughs> well, this got bizarre real quick. Anyway, let's Brittany move on. tells us we did our best, but we didn't find any food today, and that that isn't good. Oh no, we only have 18 days of food left. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? I'm just wondering what would happen if Brittany were to watch this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she'd like this, uh, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> we just basically just should ignore food unless we're... <laughs> we should just ignore food unless we're looking for new food, uh, looking for new fruit. We should ignore food unless we're looking for new food. <laughs> we should... <laughs> Well, hey, look yeah. at that. We made, we found a bunch more, we, we made a bunch more red Pikmin today. But, um, my point is, we should ignore getting new food unless it's a new species of fruit. Okay. A because... New, a new species of fruit. Or whatever it's called, because, like... A type? Yeah, because we have, like, <laughs> we have, like, more yeah, I guess days yeah, yeah, of, I guess what are they called? S types of fruit. We There's probably a more scientific name than... Hype. Because <laughs> we have more food than we've been on this planet. You know, it's the day 15, we have 18 more days of food. Right. <laughs> so, we don't need to worry about that for a long, long time. Relatively speaking. <clears throat> the lily pads are cool. Yeah. But what happens if you stay on them? Um, it... <laughs> it throws you into the water. No. <laughs> Um, it throws you off onto a little shore side on the uh, far left. Okay. You see that they kind of pass under one final bridge. That bridge you get kicked off. Yeah. They, I was you, thinking you, you maybe get you kicked could kicked off onto that bridge. I was thinking maybe you could discover a new zone or like drown or something. Well, I mean, it's possible. That option is always there, Clark. You can always drown. <laughs> I found a new area. There was only one problem. It's underwater. We drowned. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can see it. In the future, we complete this game. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> if the world ends before, <laughs> before we before complete this we're game. done with Pikmin, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it ends like the day before we we come we get back together to complete. Pikmin. Well, also, if the world ends, there's gonna be nobody to watch it, so I guess I don't care. <laughs> but it means we'll only have, be like. Or, or if we're trying to a hundred, or if we're trying to hundred percent and you know get all the fruit, and then there's just one fruit left, and then the world ends. And then the world ends. I'm gonna be so <laughs> mad. Yeah. Um, um. Okay. Well, which one do you want to do tomorrow? Uh. Oh wait, what? <laughs> which what? The cave or yeah? The do other you want to do area? the cave or jumping over that pond? Um. I don't think we can jump over that pond. Cave it is. Okay, well, that's decided. <laughs> Just dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. It's like a stair steps. Yeah, it is. And there's stairs. one tiny little dip, and then we just keep finding more. And now we're almost equal. Yeah. The Pikmin are, are almost flatlining. The Pikmin are flatlining. The other side of the river. I don't think they'll join us at all. Yeah, in fact, they'll attack us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Pikmin on Pikmin violence <laughs> these days. You know, there's a. Uh, you know, the, there are competitive multiplayer modes in this. <laughs> 